Welcome back. Okay, sort of good news. Well, yes, it is good news, but there's still a long way to go. Let's go to Mike Eppel <laughs> standing by. Hello. You're laughing because we're talking about the Suez Canal. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, good morning, Melanie. The the ever given that giant ship that has been blocking up the Suez for the past week. Uh, well, it's almost moved. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, yeah, kind of, sort of. Early this morning, it was like, yeah. So, well, they, they, there was success. Let's let's uh, put it into perspective here that they actually got it partially refloated, which kind of indicates how stuck this ship actually was. That. Um, they were celebrating an 80% refloat. Now they got to get the the front of that ship. You know these the the the, the meme generator of that tiny so uh, um, caterpillar earth mover trying to push or dig around the bow of that ship, of course. And uh, we'll see if they can get this thing moving today. Once they get the engines restarted and uh, steered in the right direction, the. Um, issue here, Melanie, is the fact that this is gumming up about $9 billion of trade each and every day, something like $400 million per hour. Major uh, uh, issue for global trade. And if you look at the map, the, you know, they, they track ships like they do aircraft. Mm -hmm. uh, there are hundreds at the north end of the Suez just waiting for passage and another couple of hundred at the south end. So uh, we'll see. They're saying high tide is taking place right now, and that is their best hope to uh, get that ship officially unstuck and, and steered and then out of the way because it's in the worst possible spot for all, any of this to happen right uh, in a in a single lane passage area on the Suez oh geez and my favorite meme by the way was the Austin Powers one where it's backing up it was like a 20 <laughs> right. point turn trying to get stuck out in of the it. tunnel yeah yeah stuck that was... in the tunnel and you can't, can't was maneuver key. it one way or the other that was a awesome. good one. Or, or going or the ship I posted it on on Twitter Friday somebody made up the ship going into one of the TTC streetcar tunnels oh the Queen's Key one yes the one yeah, that everyone like, gets how did stuck that get in. in there every time <laughs> oh geez okay but obviously we're watching the more serious impact of it we'll yes, be watching that for days weeks to come but if you can't make fun of something then what good is it right? what can you do all right uh, <laughs> Microchip shortage. So this, you know, it yes. sounds so simple, but it has a massive no. impact. Yeah, those tiny uh, computer chips are uh, causing major problems for the auto industry. Uh, now Stellaris, which is the new brand for Fiat Chrysler, they have uh, effectively shut down five plants in North America in the short term. So Fiat uh, Chrysler dealing with the same problem that Ford has had to uh, deal with, General Motors. Um, you know, some of the other automakers, the computer industry, obviously, is front and center in this. But uh, this computer chip shortage, which has really been going on now, I think we started talking about this late last year already, it still has not been alleviated. And, and, and they're saying the Suez issue could be a part of the supply chain problem in the short term, too. So, you know, if you drive around and, and you look at any car dealership lots, some are more affected than others. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, dealer lots have virtually no inventory right now so anything that comes in is immediately sold and that is a, an ongoing problem for the auto industry mike apple what else is on your radar today what else is going on to, oh you know you know it's, we're talking about hedge funds and margin calls real technical stuff actually in the markets this morning melanie because a company uh, a hedge fund called arcagus on friday started selling was forced into a sale of some major media companies so cbs viacom uh, and Tencent Holdings, Baidu out of China, they were all down, some of them as much as 25% in a single day because one of these hedge funds got squeezed and had to do some selling. And it was kind of interesting to see so many stocks down yet and all the markets on Friday hit some records. And this morning we're looking at a little bit more nervousness about this mm -hmm. and the ripple effects. And we've got the Dow futures down about 175 points. This is a holiday shortened work week coming up. Friday is Good Friday. Markets will be closed then. We'll get GDP numbers for Canada this week and U.S. unemployment statistics. So a pretty big week coming up. That'll be interesting to see if I can say interesting. Yeah. Yes, it will be. All right, Mike, as always, appreciate <laughs> interest the time. Interest and interest rates. Interest there you and go. interesting. Thank you. Yep. 617 is your time right now. Coming up, combating hate here at home. Thousands gathering across the country this weekend for anti-Asian racism rallies with a message for Canadians. Discrimination doesn't just exist in the U.S.